Good morning students. Today's topic is addition and subtraction of rational number. So addition of and subtraction of rational number will be easier for you if you have done honestly your exercises of integers and exercises of fraction. If the student has not done their exercises of integers and fraction, so for those students this will be having a lot of problems. So for them, I will again make this video to understand better like what are the rules and regulation to add and subtract the rational number. So we will take the examples because the rules are same whatever we are having the integers rule and the fraction rules when we are adding two fractions if the denominators are same we will add the numerators only. If the denominators are different we will take the LCM and then make it an equivalent fraction and then we will add similarly for the integers if there are two numbers which are positive integers we add that both the numbers if the both numbers are negative integers we add the numbers but the sign is of negative and if we have to add two integers which is having a different sign we will subtract both of them uh, from the bigger number and have the sign of the uh, bigger number so these are the cases which we have already done in integers and fractions so here by the having the examples we will be understanding again that rules right so i will take one example so my first example is 1 by 6 and 5 by 6 add these are the questions of addition add it's a 1 by 6 and 5 by 6 clearly you can see these two are positive rational numbers so 1 by 6 instead of add I will write down this plus sign 5 by 6 take because the denominators are same so I don't have to do anything just write down the denominator as 6 only and I will add 1 plus 5 right so this will become 6 by 6 and the answer will become 1 and then second example I will take minus 1 by 3 and 5 by 12 minus 1 by 3 and 5 by 12 so here my one is a negative rational number and another is a positive rational number so again I will do the same procedure plus 5 by 12 take the LCM of 3 and 12 because my denominators are not same so I will take the LCM of denominator 3 and 12 LCM will be 12 so now what should I multiply in 3 to get 12 so here it is 3 into 4 so same thing I will be multiplying in the above also so this will become minus 1 into 4 and here it will become 5 into 1 because denominator is 12 only. So here I will write Bodmer's rule applies minus 4 and here plus 4. Now see the integer rules applies over here. 1 is negative, 1 is positive. What we should do? We will be subtracting. So subtraction. From the bigger number, I have subtracted the smaller number. 5 minus 4 is 1. So 1. Okay. So this is how we all. Another example we can take. 6 by 7 and minus 1 by 8. 6 by 7 and minus 1 by 8. So here also 6 by 7 instead of add what sign I will do? Positive sign and here minus 1 by 8. Now here become 2 sign. So to make it simplify plus minus integer rule see plus minus becomes minus. So this is becoming 6 by 7 minus 1 by 8. 
Now take the LCM of 7 and 8 that would be of of course 56. What should I multiply here? 8. So 6 into 8 and here 7. So 1 into 7. 6 eights are 48 minus 7 by 56. 41 by 56. Right. And one more example, that would be the last one for the addition topic. I will take both the number as the negative one. So what should I take? Minus 1 by 16 and minus 3 by, just I write in 2 by 3. Okay. So here students, again I should write over here, minus 1 by 16 plus minus 2 by 3. Because two numbers are there. Do it in the negative one, uh, bracket one. So this will become as minus 1 by 16 plus minus is how much? Minus, so minus 2 by 3. Now take the LCM of 16 and 3. It will be 48. 16 3s are minus 1 into 3. 3 16s are minus 2 into 16. So this will become minus 3 minus 32 by 48. And that is equal to minus 35 by 48 minus 35 by 40. So this is how you do the addition. Same thing we can do for the subtraction also. So uh, for subtraction what I do is I uh, am just uh, erasing this part my solution part and I will convert this into the subtraction question. I have to convert, subtract these questions only. So see how I will be subtracting. I left these examples only and for these examples only I will make you understand this subtraction. So this also I have to delete uh, subtract. The question will be like mm, okay subtract this and not this and also we have to remove. Because question in the subtraction, always the question will come as subtract this from this. Kisko kisse subtract karna hai, ye pata chalna chahiye na. 2 ko 5 se karna hai ki 5 ko 2 se karna hai. 1 by 6 ko 5 by 6 se karna hai ya 5 by 6 ko. Kyunki 3 minus 2 ka value 1 hoga. Lekin 2 minus 3 ka value kitna hoga? Minus 1 hoga. Dono ka answer alag ho jayega. To yaha hum lung ko clearly batana hoga. किसको किससे सब्ट्रैक्ट करना है? 3 minus 2 जो होता है, वो 1 होता है. लेकिन 2 minus 3 अब हमको पता चल गया है कि minus 1. So that's why 3 minus 2 और 2 minus 3. So this is very important. That question is very important. Subtract this from this. So I will write from. So all the and I will be eliminating. So it is like from. Now see how this question will become. 5 by 6 may say 1 by 6 minus karna hai. So 5 by 6 or minus 1 by 6. Ye jo from hai ye from will convert into this negative sign as there in the previous thing addition and is converted into positive sign here from is converted into the negative sign so and now the same procedure denominators are same so 5 minus 1 it will be 4 by 6 standardize it 2 by 3 so answer is how much? 2 by 3. Right. Here same thing. 
5 by 12 I will write down first, then minus and then minus. Here you will see is from ka ye wala minus hai. This from ke liye maine ye sign laga diya. Aur ye jo minus ka sign hai, this st student is same as this one. Maine wahi wala sign ko yahan pe rakha. Because this is the part of the number. Minus 1 by 3 is my number. So we will not exclude this negative sign. This negative sign is included in my number. Right. So here two signs will come. So how to solve this? So first of all we will take the integers again property. Two subtraction means positive. Minus and minus will become positive. So this will become 5 by 12 plus 1 by 3. Now take the LCM. LCM is 12. Here 1 multiply. 5. Here 4 multiply. 3 4s are 12. 5 plus 4. 9 by 12. Standardized. 3 3s are 9. 3 by 4. Now this question. Here again the same procedure. The procedure will be same. The second number where I will write first minus sign and then 6 by 7. Here there is no need to have this bracket sign because here I have put the bracket because of this negative sign because two the negative signs are coming two signs are coming either positive negative negative positive or positive positive whatever so if two signs are kept, uh, coming so better you will keep the brackets. Otherwise, it's not required because here, here it is only one sign. So, it is. So, again you can do 7, 8 LCM, 56, minus 1 into 7 and here 6 into 8, into 8. Minus 7, minus 48 by 56. 55 by 56. So like this. And the same procedure apply over here. Minus 2 by 3. Minus. So here you can see. This from is this. This is for this. And then my number. 9 by 16. Minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 16. Take the LCM. Three sixteens are into 16 minus 32. 16 threes are plus 3. So, 1 is minus and 1 is positive. So, sign will be integers rule say. If 1 is negative, 1 is positive. We will subtract the number. So, 32 minus 3 is how much? 29 by 48. And the sign is of the bigger number that is of minus. So, answer will be minus 29 by 48. This is how you will be doing your addition and subtraction of the question. And apart from this, we are having the questions like what are the additive inverse, what are the... So, additive inverse is same as we have done in the fractions and the integers. The negative of the number is known as the additive inverse. So, what is the additive inverse of minus 1 by 3? Plus 1 by 3. What is the additive inverse of plus 1 by 3? Minus 1 by 3. What is the additive inverse of minus 2 by 3? Minus 2 by 3, additive inverse of minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3, plus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 2 by minus 3, first converted into minus 2 by 3, this becomes the same only, so the answer is this only, minus 2, minus 3, this can be converted into 2 by 3, because the sign can be eliminated. So this is same as list. So 
additive inverse of this so first you have to standardize and then solve solve like as you are doing in your rational numbers right so for today this much only okay students